and we're back so I have kind of finished up the the ceiling uh, with the tongue and groove board um, I kind of cut out around the fan area I had to do some notching around this outside board here on that side and this side just had to round them up a little bit and then in the fronts I'll show you. You can kind of see where I had to notch it a little bit. And same with that side. It's pretty much done. Um, I'm just gonna put probably like a polyurethane coating or something, or it would look a little more saturated, I guess, or something. But um, once I do that, I'll put the cover to the fan on, and then uh, the ceiling will be, will be finished. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this tongue and groove board on the doors. Um, but yeah, I think right now, today, I'm going to start uh, trying to get the paneling on the walls here uh, going. So what I'm going to do is take some cardboard and start making a template to kind of follow the, you know, body of the van to uh, get the right shape. And then I'm just using uh, uh, some masonite. But once I get the template up, made out of cardboard, I'll trace down to the masonite, cut out the, the board, start fitting it. If it needs uh, to be tweaked at all or anything, um, we'll do that. And then once it's fitted, then I'll wrap it in uh, some this gray carpet that I found at Lowe's. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna do the gray carpet on this side. I think I'm gonna go up there and go across to the uh, kind of where the end of the insulation ends and then I think you know once I get my carpet board in here it'll end right at the same height as the ceiling and I'll probably just do uh, like a 45 strip to fill that gap um, but I guess we'll see when the time comes so yeah here we go <laughs> I got the masonite panels up. The cardboard stenciling worked. It's just a tedious process, but it worked. What I did was I screwed the panels in where I wanted the kind of the attachment points at and then hung them so I could kind of get an idea of what I'm working with. And then uh, I'm gonna go buy some carpet and wrap them. I have a little bit of insulation left. I'm gonna put behind the, the panels. There's kind of like a cavity in there. Um, so I'm gonna wrap them in this gray kind of automotive carpet that should make it start to look a little more home-like. It's also extremely messy in here so I'm gonna vacuum first because there's so much sawdust on the floor from doing the ceiling and just all the holes that I've been drilling uh, in the wood. It's really started to make this place dirty. But yeah, so this is what the panels look or the walls look like with no carpet on them. Um, it's nothing fancy, you know, I just, I just cut the masonite with a jigsaw. These rough edges in here will all get, you know, I'll sand them maybe a little bit, but uh, they're all going to get covered by carpet, so it doesn't matter. I just, I just spray glue the, the surface of the wood and then put the carpet down and then fold it over on the backside. All right, just picked up the carpet. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. It comes in a six foot roll. Um, so now I'm just going to pull the panels off of the van and then spray glue the carpet and stick it on there.
All right, that's that. I uh, I got the carpet boards all hung. I'm kind of I'm pretty happy with them. I thought the gray was going to be darker, which I didn't want. So it's nice that it's kind of a lighter. I wanted to really make the van a lot brighter than it used to be. It used to be all black, and it was just made it feel so crammed. And so I've been trying to go with lighter colors. Yeah, that's why I went with a light colored ceiling. I think I'm going to run over and get some stain or not stain but polyurethane and and get these things coated quick so then once i do that i can put my cap like the inside uh cover of the fan on but uh let me give you a closer look at the panels real quick okay so you can see that all the notches that i made earlier to fit around everything uh the carpet's so thin that it didn't really affect it i don't mind seeing the screws it kind of gives it more of an uh, industrial look I sat and thought and thought and thought about how I wanted to put the slat boards in, whether I should go with the screw or not, but I actually don't mind them. I kind of kind of like the look. It was easy to, but uh, yeah, you could use, uh, if you have an air compressor, you could use a little brad nailer. I think that's how they normally go on, but um, yeah, now that those are up, I'm gonna, I can fill these kind of corners in with just some more, probably, probably the same carpet. It's just easy to hide, uh, kind of the weird shapes of the van. Um, and then I'll get to the floor. Hopefully that'll get done this week. And then uh, then the inside is done. Then I can start building my cabinets and my bed and the shelf <laughs> that I feel like I'm never gonna get to. I keep putting it off, but I'll probably again put some more carpet up over these sliders and then uh, yeah, I'm really torn if I should make those uh, like little storage areas or not, but I guess we'll I guess we'll see. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up, um, and maybe consider subscribing uh, to see more videos like this. I'm learning this entire process. You know, I'm not a professional van builder by any means, but hopefully, I learn a thing or two along the way. Again, if you guys have have any ideas or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.